All right, everyone, welcome back once again to this Beefcast production. I'm your shoutcasting host, Beef, bringing you game two of this game from the Clan Buzz Open. Number one. All righty, game two, TBT, bottom right hand corner of Ohana. We do have game one's winner up 1 0 in this best of three series. His name is Wendell. And in the top left, trying to come back from a 0-1 deficit, the Red Terran Eyebrows. Alrighty, so we'll see how this game differs from the last. Eyebrows is going to be following, uh, following a relatively similar strategy here. Dropping down the Supply Depot, as does Wendell here at the front base. Trying to make sure that they can get those up in a uh, position that will allow them to wall off, deny any scouting information, just like last game. We'll see if there's any deviation from the previous game. In our last, Wendell did go ahead and go for a bit more economic opening, opting for an earlier uh, earlier CC after a Reaper opening, a Reaper expand, one of, one of the casters for NASL, Mr. Bitter's favorite strategies. So we'll see how that does go into his game this game. Uh, whether the, or not there's going to be an early gas here is a very telltale sign. Whereas our other player, Wendell did go, excuse me. Yeah, our other player, Eyebrows, did instead opt for a relatively early stim. Um, no, that's not quite true. He instead opted for a relatively early marine tank. There we go. Very quick factory coming out of our uh, player, Eyebrows, last game. So we'll see if Quick Factory, even Mech Play, does manage to make its way back into his book this game. Eyebrows dropping a relatively early gas here. Not, not quite so early, but earlier than he did last game. So double gas now coming out of Eyebrows for this game. So we'll see if there is, in fact, some kind of cloak banshee shenanigans coming out of our Red Terran player or not. Fast CC could be dropping down for Wendell right now. Not blocking his ramp right here with another supply depot. So the red SCV does manage to make its way into the base right now and manages to get up their spot that uh, there was nothing else, no tech add ons for that SCV. And did he manage to spot the CC? He did. So with that information, you can probably deduce that there's no gas that's going to be coming out right now. Just it simply does not have the money for it at this point. Wendell trying to make his way into his opponent's base does not manage to get up the ramp right now. The two supply depots and the barracks manage to do their job and the SCV is forced to retreat and try to hide right now in a good position to spot for when the command center does in fact come down. With both of these refineries going to be coming down, the factory is instead going to be completed right here. And the placement of this factory away from the barracks, at least in high level play, that does lead you to believe that that will be some kind of a tech port, uh, excuse me, a tech lab play, leading you to believe that it probably is going to be Banshees. We'll see another starport dropped right here. Factory going to be making a tech lab while the starport is in production, and then switch those off. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You got yourself some cloaked Banshees. Second and third barracks is going to be coming up right now for Wendell. Very nice execution of a gasless fast expand. A build that you see a little bit more common in uh, Terran versus Protoss than Terran versus Terran. But he's doing a very nice variation of it right now. Getting up his first tech lab with the gas from the double gases that he did drop right afterward. A little bit low on his SCV count at this point. Only at 18 SCVs, but with double orbital command, he will be able to pump out quite a few SCVs, and the mules will be able to make up for it. Tech Lab did, in fact, finish up for this factory over here. Starport's going to make its way onto that Tech Lab as soon as that's finished, and a second Tech Lab going to be started here at the factory. So we'll see what the follow-up is for our Red Terran, whether or not he is, in fact, going to be doing Cooked Banshees, which is what I would expect off of this Starport. But if this does end up being a tank coming out of here, we will see something like 111. Uh, regular Banshee is going to be coming out right now, and Cloak does in fact start with that surplus of gas that he did have. And we'll see how our Orange Terran does manage to deal with this, if he's able to get any kind of a read on this whatsoever. Factory and Engineering Bay are going to be coming down at the exact same time, so that Engineering Bay will be very useful to start uh, upgrades, but also useful to start any kind of... Um, Engineering bays make turrets. That's what they make. So turret going to be coming down right now for our Red Terran as well. Going to be preemptively throwing that down in case there was any kind of aggression. Nothing really to read that. Coke Banshee expand not too common in this build, but who knows? You can do whatever you want. Plus one ground weapons for the infantry going to be starting right now. 
for our Orange Terran player as a bunker does go off at the front trying to ward off any progression at the front, but we'll see how he does in fact deal with these Banshees. Cloak going to be about two-thirds of the way done as the first Banshee makes its way down the left side over here of Ohana, probably going to be looking to sneak into the SUV line, but look at that, a beautifully placed missile turret that is absolutely going to defend any kind of pressure from that Banshee, at least for the time being. And very nice job from Wendell right there, preparing for any kind of Cloak Banshee aggression. So with the 1-1-1 one, one, one opening effectively countered a little bit by those missile turrets, no economic damage or very little economic damage is going to be done by this. Uh, we'll see how Eyebrows does manage to choose that to follow it up. Managing to get his Banshee out of there with just... Oh no! How very unfortunate right there for Eyebrows manages to save his Banshee from the missile turret only to run into a bunker full of Marines. Oh man, that is absolutely unfortunate. Losing his first Banshee there. The second Banshee is... Where is the second Banshee? It's just kind of hanging out in the base right now. Instead, opting to stay home, pool energy, and see if there's going to be a big 1-1-1 one, one, one push coming up right now or not. Third Banshee is on its way. Siege tech is going to be finished very quickly here. In addition to it, one more Siege tank. And so our Red Terran player could be gearing up for a pretty large 1-1-1 one, one, one push. That was the casting sound, I guess they're talking to me. I'm not going to respond right now, though. Uh, back home for Wendell, using that factory, manages to get a starport up, going to start double medevac production, looking very much so like a uh, Protoss build up until this point right here. Adding siege tanks into his composition with that tech lab on the factory. Not something you see too much in Protoss play. But. Other than that, this is a, uh, a build that you see against Protoss quite a bit. Very effective against Protoss and very effective against Terran. So, Marines and Marauders going to be aiming to take down these destructible debris as Wendell is going to be establishing a third base for himself right now. So in these last two games, we've seen very much so that Wendell is a player that does like to play the macro game. He likes to get those command centers up, puts himself at a little bit of risk right now. I mean, he doesn't have a whole lot of defense if that uh, one 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 push were to hit him at the front door right now and play be played very well right now eyebrows could in fact probably just kill him but with that bunker with those couple of medevacs he's probably in a pretty decent position and feeling safe enough to try to take his third now we'll see if this third doesn't end up being another orbital command or a planetary fortress only time can tell and two medevacs being loaded up with marines and monitors right now going to be making their way over into Eyebrows' base. This area right here is very open to a drop, which is where the medevacs are headed. So we'll see what manages to happen from our orange uh, orange Terran right now. Back home, going to be continuing production of Marines, Marauders, Tanks. No medevac production continued right now, but the drop has started. The first medevac is going to fall to a missile turret. The second medevac right there. Just out of range of the second missile turret. Going to be moving into range right now. The Marines and Marauders are actually going to be focusing the orbital command. Trying to get over here on top of the tank. Beautiful move, or, uh, beautiful move command on top of that tank. Trying to get right into its dead zone. And manage to pick up a couple of those Marines and Marauders. And yeah, the medevac is going to be able to make its way out of there right now. Let's take a look at the workers killed tab. Total of 14 workers killed there. Very nice job. Let's take a look at units lost. And nice job there by Wendell, managing to make very effective use of that small drop, about doubling the amount of units lost for his opponent. So very cost-effective engagement there, managed to make him lose quite a bit of mining time as well. So I'd say that Wendell is actually in a pretty commanding lead at this point. With uh, decent amounts of production back at home, double upgrades are on the way. A couple more barracks being thrown down. And a third orbital command center going up with a total of six gases. We'll see what he chooses to use those six gases for. Um, a second starport and a second factory going to be going down. So it looks like he's probably just going to want to double up on production of those factory and starport units. But at the same time, moving out across the map with one medevac, a handful of marines and marauders, and a couple of tanks this could be a relatively scary push to deal with at this point. Uh, third base going to be going down for eyebrows here. This natural is not quite saturated, so I'd like to see him get his SCV production up at this point a bit, uh, but that third CC will in fact go down, so we'll see how Wendell does react, see if he tries to get that deny off or not. Fourth CC going down for Wendell down here in the natural fourth position. 
And Wendell just continuing to expand, continuing to macro up, getting all of those production buildings up. Four more barracks going to be coming down right here. And Wendell is actually proving to have a pretty exceptional macro. Moving into the uh, third base right now is Wendell with uh, Marines and Marauders going to be trying to clean up as much as they possibly can. Sea Shanks have been covering some of the high ground, but the third is going to have to be cancelled. Cloak Banshee's going to be getting there trying to do as much damage as they possibly can, but the scan does go down, and the Marines and Marauders have not managed to pick off either one of those Cloak Banshees right now, so I think Wendell's actually going to have to retreat. He simply doesn't have the units to deal with those Cloak Banshees at this point. And similar to last game, he's going to leave these Siege Tanks here, just trying to prevent the third from going down, and really just do a soft contain on his opponent. Uh, something that I really like. I think he's doing an excellent job with this right now. Cloak Banshees do come in and manage to snipe off one more of those tanks, and one of the Cloak Banshees does fall. But the other one is still alive. I'm trying to get back in there, manages to take another couple of shots and draw Marines and Marauders into the fire for one of these tanks. Cloak Banshee going to be coming in. Still trying to drop a couple more shots into the siege tank. One more Marauder actually going to be. <laughs> Look at that right there. Manages to load everything up into those into those uh, medevacs and get them out of there safely. Very nice job. But a nice job equally by eyebrows using that couple of cloaked banshees to deter that threat. Very nice. Planetary Fortress is the choice here on the 4th. Managing to take the, uh, the defensive route, making sure that nothing too much is going to be coming over there to hurt. I'm hitting a pretty hard supply block here at 108 supply. Supply depots still have not even started for our orange player. He's got a lot of stuff queued up. Oh, look at that right there. He manages to lose a couple of units over in that position. I think that might have been a bad rally point or something along those lines. But Medivac is going to be making their way to the main base right now. Dropping siege tanks, dropping marines, dropping Medivacs. And one of them, Medivacs, a completely full Medivac does die at that point. Cloak Banshee going to be coming back over here trying to finish up what he started saying you guys can't take me down this time but oh man the two marines actually do take him down siege tank can be blasting away on the marines and marauders one siege tank versus a siege tank and a marauder the sieged up siege tank is in fact going to take down the unseeged siege tank and eyebrows actually going to have to deal with this this uh tank situation relatively quickly this one reactor is in fact going to burn down and there we go that's going to land these three vikings on top of the siege tank right here and that siege tank is done his days are numbered all right so back on the other side of the map the orange terran player continuing to macro up eyebrows has still not taken his third so wendell once again is getting into a commanding macro lead uh, at this point, he is starting his plus 2-2 two, two upgrades, getting his Marines and Marauders nice and beefy, moving out across the map once again with a lot of Marines and Marauders and a couple of Siege Tanks. No medevac support right here, but another swath of, of uh, Terran Bio is going to be making its way across behind this and possibly becomes denying a third. Yep, second time denying a third. Can be sieging up the Siege Tanks. And Eyebrows actually opting to leave the game, realizing that he is in a pretty... Pretty bad position right there, not able to take that third. And so Wendell is going to take this series 2-0. So very nice job by Wendell putting on a clinic in TVT here, denying the third, starving out your opponent, and just doing an overall, overall very good job. So thank you once again for joining me. I've been your casting host, Beef. This is the Clan Buzz Open round of 16. Well, this is the round of 8 now. It was a 16-man uh, a tournament. So I think that's actually going to be the final game of the round of eight. We're going to be getting into the round of four here pretty soon. Going to be casting some games. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next game.